Hello, good morning. Uh, I'm Hassan and I'm from Numerical Analytic Instrument Private Limited. And we are the sole distributor for the Texas Instrument Dropping Calculators. Okay. So I want to tell you the new update on the TI Inspire CX2 calculators. So as per the IB guidelines, so let me show you the IB guidelines for the calculator usage in 2022. It suggests certain calculators that are permitted to be used in the IB exams and certain calculators that are not uh, permitted, they are prohibited. Okay. So TI Inspire CX CAS and TI Inspire CAS, these are the very old calculators. These are prohibited to be used in IB. And uh, TI Inspire CX2, TI Inspire CX, TI Inspire CX2 CAS are allowed in IB to be used. Okay. Under the exam mode. Okay. So all the calculator and star model need to put uh, into a press to test mode. Now, putting the calculator in press to test mode is easier in the newer version of the calculator. Okay. So previously what happened is we need to certain uh, we need to check and uncheck certain options from the calculator in order to put the calculator into test mode. But now we have released our operating system 5.4 for our CX2 calculators okay, and CX2 CAS. So IB suggests that if you are using these two calculators in IB exams, your operating system should be 5.4 or higher. Okay. So we need to upgrade our operating system to 5.4 if we have not uh, yet done that. Now, after you upgrade the operating system, I will explain you how you can upgrade your operating system without having a software because uh, most of the students does not have the software uh, because they have lost their license key. So they can even upgrade the operating system by using the Chrome browser. Once they upgrade the operating system, Student need not to check or uncheck certain options that IB suggests to be checked and unchecked in the TN Spy CX2 and TN Spy CX2 CAS. Okay. So let me just first tell you about how you need how you can upgrade the operating system. So you, uh, you need to open the Chrome browser and open education.ti.com website. Okay. So uh, it's yeah, so this is the uh, TI uh, website. And if you go to downloads, just hover on the downloads, don't check, just hover on the downloads, and you can see TI Inspire CX updates. Okay, click on that. Here you will see two options. One is update my software and OS. If you want to update your software also, you can click here. And if you only want to update your operating system of the calculator, you can click on update my OS only. So first, you need to check whether your calculator is at the latest version or not. In order to do that, open the software or open the handle. Go to home screen on the calculator as well as on the software. Just go to settings, option number 5, and here option number 4, status. My version is 5.4. I have upgraded to 5.4. But I have one calculator attached to the laptop through USB cable, which is not 5.4. So let me upgrade that. So once you are on this website, just click on update my OS only. It will open a new window for you. Now here the instructions are very clear that you need to connect the calculator. Just click on connect to calculator. Select your calculator name from the top. Hit click. Oops, it says there is a problem. There is no problem because I have already opened my software. So I need to close this. Okay. So if you get this problem, you need to close the software if you are using that. So I close this and I just refresh this. Okay. So again, I connect, select the calculator, say connect. And it will open a new window. You can see in a while. Yeah, you can see three options. You can capture the screen, you can transfer the files, you can update your OS. I click update my OS. It will tell you what is your current operating system of the calculator handled and what is the latest operating system available. Now click update OS. And it will take around two minutes to update the operating system. Okay. So this is one way by which you can upgrade your operating system. Thank you.